folks. Tom Murky here. Uh, just out of character a little bit here. It's uh, it's Wednesday night. Uh, this is my third day for my 90 day challenge, and and I'm going to bring you a little information tonight. It's a bit of a rant, um, a bit of sadness in my heart because a kid that I grew up with, one of my favorite people, a man full of life and full of joy and happiness. Um, just got word that he's got diabetes. So no big deal, you might think, but it's pretty much entirely preventable. It, it's what you choose to do daily, and, and he has not made good choices um, on a daily basis. So not, not going to get into it too heavy, too deep, but two things I will give you if you want to choose not to be diabetic and 300 pounds, when you're 50 years old. It's always been a goal of mine to be a cantankerous great-great-grandpa, okay, and spoil the heck out of my great-great-grandkids and be part of their lives as they grow up. Two ways I'm going to do it, and two ways I do it every day, just two easy steps, something we all have control over. Before I eat a meal, I drink a glass of water, six to eight, ten ounces every meal. It's a habit. I love doing it. It fills you up. Please understand the other really simple thing is to continue to realize, continue to understand. Look at your fist. Clench your fist and look at it. Look all around it. That's the size of your stomach. Okay? So really, <laughs> Uh, most of us overeat every time we eat, every meal we go to, okay? So think of these two things. The size of your fist is the size of your stomach. Write it down. The size of your fist is the size of your stomach, okay? Food is for sustenance. Food should not be emotional. Ease. Food should be sustenance. We don't get that. Okay. Drink water before you eat. Eight ounces, six ounces, ten ounces, whatever. Get in that habit. You'll eat far less and you'll feel far better. How do you feel when you overeat two hours later? All you want to do is watch TV and ten minutes later, what happens? You're out. So, Enough of my rant. It's just, folks, this stuff's preventable. You just have to understand it. You have to see it for what it is. You have to want to. You have to need to. You have to set goals that you can attain. Okay, I could get hit by a truck tomorrow. I know I'm not going to, but tomorrow could be my last day on this earth. But guess what? It's probably not. I'm going to live to be that great-great-grandfather that's chasing his great-great-grandkids around the Memorial Day picnic. And I hope you are too. This life is wonderful. This life is to be lived. It's to flourish. It's to thrive. It's to get on your bicycle tomorrow and go for a 45-minute pedal if you want to. To be physically able to is freedom. It's beautiful cleans your mind, it cleans your heart, it cleans your lungs, it's perfect. Even if you can't pedal a bike, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. If you can't crawl, get outside and enjoy the sunshine. But please, before you eat, drink water. Before you eat, before you fill your plate up, put your fist on your plate. Your stomach is one size of your fist. It's the same size of your fist. That's all. Be well. Teddy, I love you. Hope you get better. Hope you choose to get better. Savor today.